Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bag holder. Now, this holds my hockey bag, and it serves two purposes. One, it keeps my bag off the floor, which saves space, and it also keeps it off the floor uh, and out of reach of the salt that gets put down on the roads in the winter. So this is a great system. It can be made to different lengths to hold different style bags, uh, and I'm really pleased with this system. Now, also, I needed a way to store my skis, and I wanted a system that would hold my skis uh, in both the bag and without the bag. So this is what I made. Uh, it seems to work really well, uh, and I'm extremely happy with this system. So I'm going to start this project off with a 2x4, and this is mainly the material that I'm going to be using to make this project. Now, what I'm going to do is I know that my studs in my garage are 16 inches on center. And what that means is uh, the center of the stud is 16 inches apart. So it's pretty easy to figure out once you have a, if you have a stud finder and you find one stud, it's pretty easy to mark out the rest of them. So I've got those marked out and I know that my studs are 16 inches and so I need some room for screws to go through and into the studs. So what I've done is I've oversized this and made it about 19 inches. I'm going to cut it at around 19 and then I'll cut it down a little shorter to maybe 17 or 18 later. This is just going to be a rough cut. Alright, and now that I have it cut to length, I'm going to rip this one side off of the 2x4 to give me a clean edge to connect to the wall. Alright, so I want to make a groove in this 2x4 piece, and so I've set up the table saw to sort of resaw half of this board, and then what I'm going to do is flip it on its side. Okay, so now I'm cutting out the rest of the material. Now take note that the piece of material that I'm cutting out is not in between the fence and the blade. It's on the outside. And this makes it safe to do this pr procedure on the table saw. If it was the other way around, it could kick back out at you. So just keep that in mind. Alright, and now I'm using a chamfer bit to chamfer the top and sides so that the uh, handle on the bag won't get hung up on the wood. And the last thing I'm doing here is just p finishing up some holes uh, to put the screws through. And that wraps up the bag holder, so now let's move on to the ski rack. Most of this is going to be made up of 9 inch long sections, so I'm going to cut out some of those now. I need another piece at a foot long. Here I'm resawing this 2x4 down for a bottom. And so for the bottom, you can see this is just made up of 9 inch pieces, and we've got this square shape, and then I resawed this 2x4 down so that this can be put on as a bottom, and we can flip this over and mount this to the wall as the bottom part. Alright, and for the box, I pre-drilled, countersunk, and put screws in, and I'm just putting these top pieces on, which I've already screwed this side down, and so I'm just going to finish up with putting these last screws in. And don't worry about where the screws go because you're never going to see them. Right, and here is the bottom box that the skis are going to sit into. The top's going to be pretty basic, it's just going to be a C shape, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out some more 9 inch pieces.
order to make it easier to put the skis into here, I wanted to make this these two pieces here and here bow out a little bit so that there's more of a uh, so that it can seat in there a little bit better. And so what I'm going to do is cut a 5 degree miter, and I'm going to experiment with this. I'm starting small at 5 degrees, and I'm going to go a little bit bigger if I need to. And just to make this a little bit stronger, I'm going to cut a rabbit out uh, so that it hugs the uh, braces a little bit better and just makes it a little bit stronger. Alright, so you can see I got those rabbits cut in here, and you have to remember to set your uh, table saw to an angle for this last cut here uh, to get the angle that you put on here, and I ended up changing this from 5 degrees to 7 degrees, it just seemed a little bit more reasonable, and as you can see, when they line up, there's no gap there, which is what you want. So make sure you uh, don't forget to set the table saw blade to that angle. Uh, and also one other thing I did was cut these to 30 degrees just to make it, it look a little bit better. And here it is glued together and you can, or not glued, I haven't glued it yet. I'm going to mount it first, but here it is screwed together and you can see there's hardly any gaps here, which is what we want. Uh, also, if your table saw didn't leave a clean bottom here, you can always chisel that out to make it fit a little bit better. Um, but mine came out pretty good, so I'm going to go mount it to the wall. So that just about wraps up the build of my hockey bag holder and my ski rack. Now these are two great space-saving projects. I really hope you build these, uh, and I also hope that you subscribe to my channel. Now thanks for watching.